regularly help clients on managing their ESOPs. There are many points that need to be considered while you exercise ESOPs as well as the point of exits. You also need to keep in mind taxation. When do you exercise your shares? The ideal point of exercising your shares when the price is low. So if you have the ability to, you know, crystal gaze and look at stock prices, then you can exercise it when the price is low. Why is that? Because it's subject to perquisite tax and the perquisite is added into your income on the difference between the market price and the exercise price on the date of exercise. So this can be a significant cost to you because it will get added to income and probably push you into a higher tax bracket or even a surcharge bracket and the surcharge brackets can be reasonably high. In fact, ideally one should also look at the surcharge brackets and ensure that you don't get pushed into a really high surcharge bracket by exercising your ESOP. So not only should we look at price, we should also look at what is the potential tax impact for you while exercising your ESOPs. When do you sell the stocks that you have exercised as part of your ESOPs? So you exit your ESOPs when the price is the best. Uh, it's easier said than done because you may always find that whenever you have sold, the price goes up further. And possibly at the right time, you don't sell and the price falls and a lot of your value is eroded. So what's the best way to go about it? I think the best way is to look at a combination of a staggered exit and diversification because it's important to diversify so that you are not impacted by large changes in a particular stock or an industry. Diversification will help you see a relatively sure return over a period of time rather than a very volatile return that a single stock may have. So staggering exits may be a good way of going about it. How do you stagger exits? That's another thing we normally help clients. We look at various trigger points after studying stock chart patterns and as we go higher we increase the percentage that we exit. This could vary depending on market conditions. For example, if you're reasonably bullish and have a positive view on the stock, then we may have a much longer time frame. And the percentages may be far in between and the prices also we may give much higher levels. However, if the outlook is negative, then we may have it more quickly. There could be periods when we may just suggest also it's time to probably stop loss or how to recover it quickly because the outlook is turning negative. Hence, how you manage your ESOPs and how you gain from the exit actually becomes a very important part. Thank you.